We're going to work on a problem from 6.3, that's trig substitution. It's problem 8 that we're going to work on. This is page 619. Uh, it asks us to find or evaluate the integral using an appropriate trig substitution. And what we have is we have 1 over x cubed times the square root of x squared minus 4dx. So let's go ahead and write that problem out. 1 over x cubed times the square root of x squared minus 4dx. You notice it has that telltale sign, the square root of the difference of two perfect squares. Now since this is an x squared minus a 4 squared, the, the reference triangle we're going to be working on is going to have the hypotenuse be x, this side be 2, and notice uh, you could work out using the Pythagorean theorem that this side would be x squared minus 4. So you can tell that you're going to do that. Well, what angle theta can we write in terms of x? Well, that would be x equals 2 secant theta. Okay. Well, what's that mean? That means that we have a dx that is 2 secant theta tan theta d theta. Sounds good. Now we're going to do that trig substitution. So that's 1 over, what is that? 2 secant theta cubed. So that's 8 secant cubed theta square root of 4 secant squared theta. That's x squared minus 4 <clears throat> dx is equal to 2 secant theta tan theta d theta. Can't resist pointing out if you don't bother to write your dx you're going to be in a big trouble because you'll miss this whole chunk. Okay well this part simplifies pretty predictably. Uh, what do I have here? I suppose I suppose let me just write this as 1 eighth and then hmm what do I have here? I have I guess it I guess I could write this piece on top so I have 2 secant theta tan theta over secant cubed theta. Now this, hmm, this has a 4 inside the square root. So I could write that as the square root of 4 times the square root of secant squared theta minus 1. But I know the square root of 4 is 2, so I'll just write that as 2. And I know that secant squared theta minus 1 is really, I'm using this identity over here, secant squared theta minus 1 equals tan squared theta, or sometimes you might write it as secant squared theta equals tan theta plus 1, tan squared theta plus 1. So this is what I'm thinking, but what I get out is a tan squared theta inside my square root. Since it's a tan squared inside a square root, that means I just get out tan theta d theta. Now this simplifies a whole heck of a lot. The 2 and the 2 cancel. Secant cubed, secant over secant square, square uh, secant over secant cubed gives me a secant squared, but it's in the denominator, right? So what's 1 over secant? That is cosine. So I really get a cosine squared theta. I have a tan theta over tan theta. Those cancel. I have a d theta. Hmm, this is just a trig integral. I have an even number of powers in the power of cosines. Technically, I have an even number of sines, too. I have sine to the 0. So what do I have? I have 1 eighth. How do I deal with even powers of trig functions? I'm going to use the double angle identity. So what's, what is that? You remember that cosine squared theta equals 1 half 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. That's just a trig identity, so we're going to use that identity, put it in here, so that's 1 half 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. That's fairly tractable to integrate. I guess I now have 1 16th out in front. The integral of 1 in terms of theta is just theta. The integral of cosine 2 theta is 1 half 
sine 2 theta. That's all plus c. Now remember, theta is my creation, so I have to work way back up here. x equals 2 secant theta, so that means, let's see, x over 2 equals secant theta. So what is theta equal? Theta equals secant inverse of x over 2, right? So we can actually put that in here, 1 16th secant inverse, or arc secant, of x over 2, plus 1 half sine of, now if it were just a theta, I could work back from the reference triangle and I could somehow cancel the sine and the arc secant here. But because of that 2, notice what I'm going to have, I get 2 theta. That's 2 times arc secant of x over 2. Looks pretty complicated, but think how much more complicated it would be if we didn't have trig substitution. There you go.